Hello everyone, my name is Roy Lazarovich, and this is a short introductory video to a new application I wrote called Parchmap, which allows you to play interactive fiction stories, also known as text adventure games. Parchmap is based on the popular interactive fiction interpreter Parchment, and adds a few neat features to it. And in this video, I'll showcase the most important of these features, and I'll do this by playing one of my favorite interactive fiction stories, Lost Pig. So, here we are outside. Our name is Grunk, and we are tasked with finding our lost pig. If you look to the right side of the screen, you can already see one of Parchmap's primary features. Automatic mapping. Yes, no more scribbling maps on pieces of paper. Parchmap will automatically map the game world for you as you explore it. In this particular game, we need to listen twice in order to proceed. So let's do this now. And now we can go northeast by typing NE. As soon as we hit enter, our map automatically updates and adds a room called Hole to the northeast of the room we started at. You can also see that Parchmap automatically connected the new room back to the previous room in the opposite direction, or southwest, as indicated on the upper left corner of the room box. Now, some stories might do things differently, where this automatic connection behavior wouldn't make much sense. And in this case, you can simply turn it off with this button. While you're down here, you can also turn some effects and other preferences on and off. OK, back to the hall. Ground spots a torch on the ground. Let's examine it by typing XTorch. As soon as we type T, Parchmap shows us another of its features by suggesting a few words it found in the story and invites us to use them to quickly complete the word. If we hold down control while clicking the word, Parchmap will complete the word for us and also press enter to save us another keystroke. If we click a word without holding down control, Parchmap will simply complete the word and allow us to continue typing our command. So let's grab the torch and proceed. Well now, here's our lost pig. Let's examine it. But this time, we'll use the autocomplete feature without touching the mouse. When there's exactly one single match, we can simply type backslash to complete the word and hit enter, just like control clicking. Or we can type slash to complete the word without hitting enter. Well, it seems that both Grunk and the pig aren't interested in the waterless fountain. But we think this information is important. So let's utilize another of Parchment's features by adding a note to the map. We'll do this by typing slash note and adding our note ending with a semicolon. As soon as we hit that semicolon, Parchment will grab our note and add it to the map at Grunk's current location. Using Parchment's special commands that accept a parameter like this one, you always end with a semicolon. Parchment is always watching the prompt and will pick it up. Moving on, we come to a room with a stone bench and a mysterious reddish thing. Let's note them. This time, We'll use the autocomplete feature to speed things up. Since we now have two nodes in the room, only the first one is visible on the map and an icon appears next to it. If we click this icon, we can read all our notes. And we can also type slash notes to get the same outcome without using the mouse. Later, if we return to the fountain room and want to read the notes in the cave without touching the mouse, we can type slash room notes and the room's name, followed by a semicolon. But fear not, autocomplete comes to our aid and suggests room names we have already discovered for you to quickly complete either with the keyboard or the mouse. Jumping ahead a bit, we further explore the area and our map has grown. We can click on any room to move the map around. And if we get lost, we can click this icon to quickly center the map back on Grunk's location. As before, 
We can also use the keyboard to achieve the same functions by typing slash C and the room's name, followed by a semicolon, and slash C me to get back to Grunk. But a really moving feature of ParchMap will present itself when we click on the little walking man icon. The little face icon now indicates that we are in the hole. And if you turn your attention to the story, you will see that ParchMap automatically calculated the directions required to get to the hole from the room we were previously in and injected them into the prompt for us. As with previous features, we can also do this with a keyboard by typing slash go to and the room's name followed by a semicolon. Autocomplete is here again for our convenience. We can also click on any room in the non rooms list to have ParchMap navigate to it. Now, back in the cave, we have decided that we don't need the notes that we left anymore. So we can simply type slash clear notes to get rid of them. If we restart our game, notice that the map is still intact. To reset the map as well, we can simply type slash clear map to start with a blank slate. How do I save the game? I hear you ask. Simply type slash save for more information. Oh, and you can also type slash help for, well, help. Finally, we can type slash quit to go back to the list of available stories, where we can select another story to play. On this screen, we can filter the stories by title or author name. We can mark stories as complete and or start them, and we can filter the list by stories that we have completed or starred. And that's it guys. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. Check out the link in the description to get started. And I hope you have fun using PatchMap to explore the amazing world of interactive fiction.